You know, I've seen a lot of videos of people trying to mimic Windows using Linux, and some are impressive, I'll admit, but I think that KDE does the best job at it, uh, and by the end of the video, you'll be pretty surprised with the result. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so to start things off, you'll be needing three things, and I'll provide the links in the description. But these three things are Breeze Alpha Black, uh, which is the panel. The second thing is the titled menu to mimic the menu bar. And the final thing is the Windows logo. So like I said, all of these will be in the description. Uh, keep in mind also I am using Manjaro KDE. So uh, I am using Arch Linux. So go ahead and download all of these, oops, all of these three files. Alright, now once that's done, let's access the folder that has all of them. Uh, and keep in mind, so I have these installed in my downloads folder, but what I recommend is because you'll probably, or you might need them in the future, what I recommend is creating a new folder uh, in your home folder and just moving them there. But for the sake of the video, uh, I'm just going to be keeping them here. Okay, so now once you have those installed, let's take a look at the system settings okay so there will be a couple things we'll need to change so first thing go to workspace theme and now for the desktop theme we will be installing the panel so go ahead and click install from file and then click on the newly installed file and then once you give it some time it should show up alright so once you've done that you should see Breeze Alpha Black. So go ahead and click on that. And then the panel should look like this. Now I'll talk about the panel a lot uh, because that is one of the key features, I'll say, in my opinion, because it is, in my opinion, the hardest thing to mimic in, when it comes to Linux. Uh, you know, you can mimic a lot of other stuff, but uh, oftentimes I just don't see the panel being correct and uh, the panel is what you'll be looking at most of the time so uh, y you'll want that to be pretty accurate so uh, uh, once you've done that before we dwell deeper into that uh, go ahead and click on cursor theme and then click install oops get new theme now right here uh, you should see the DMZ cursors so go ahead and install that and then once that pops up, you should get the same default cursor as Windows 10. Okay, so the first thing we'll pay attention to is the panel. So let's mimic the default Windows 10 panel. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we'll right click on the panel and then go to panel options and then add widgets. And then you should see alpha black control. Let's do that. Let's double click on it and it should be on the panel. Next, go back to panel options, add widgets, and then get new widgets, and then install from local files. So we'll go to the downloads folder or whatever folder you saved it on, and then click on that, finish. And uh, once you do that, you go to panel options, add widgets, and it should be here. Okay, so it's tiled menu, not titled menu. So double click on that and it should appear here on your panel. Okay, so here on the left you have your normal KDE panel if you prefer that. But if you want something more Windows 10 styled, then you can see this. The only thing that sucks is the search bar is kind of big in my opinion, um, but that's fine. So click on these three bars here and let's remove some stuff. So the pager, you can keep it if you want. I'll just remove it because Windows doesn't really have that. The default application center, you can remove that. Uh, the new menu, you can drag it to the very left. Uh, and you can remove the show desktop and the trash um, icons as well. Okay. And keep in mind, I mean, your KDE setup might not be like this, but uh, this is for Manjaro. Um, but I mean, it's the same desktop environment, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to remove Octopi for now. So 
click where right click where the arrow is and click system tray settings um, you can choose what you want to stay um, but because I want it to, to look more minimalistic so that it looks more like um, like icons that you would otherwise see on Windows I'm just going to remove everything but the network and the volume icons uh, and if you haven't noticed these icons are actually very similar if not the same to the ones that Windows 10 uses uh, for the time you gotta right click it and then click configure digital clock so this clock is pretty good but the problem is is that it's much larger uh, at this scale and if you want you can scale it to be smaller um, but if you want like a bigger sized panel and a smaller clock then what you'll have to do is click on show date and then it's it's going to show the date kind of like uh, how in, in Windows it does it as well uh, but the font is bigger so if you want to experiment you can experiment with some of these fonts and I have seen some pretty nice fonts uh, that are smaller um, that would mimic Windows 10 better okay next up uh, we can go to this um, what was it called the alpha black control uh, and so w the Windows 10 um, panel isn't really um, transparent so we can go to panel and make it a hundred percent opaque and then it will look like this you can adjust it in uh, other ways if you'd like um, but I just want to use it to make it fully opaque okay next up um, is this menu right here right click on it and then click on configure the tiled menu and we'll try to change the icon so click on other icons and you can browse from any downloaded images and then click OK now I will admit this image specifically is a bit big um, it is slightly bigger than the Windows 10 uh, icon but the good thing is is that let's see if I can go back here let's try this one so you can experiment with this if you can uh, edit images if you're good at image editing uh, you can just kind of edit it yourself so you can make the icon smaller um, but fact of the matter is is that there you go that's that's more reasonable fact of the matter is you can make it smaller bigger it's up to you um, it, and to be honest this is in more proportion with the KDE panel icons so that's that uh, so basically taking a look at the panel it looks pretty good so far um, if you want to add uh, the keyboard layout options what I recommend is going to keyboard then layouts uh, then configure layouts click on add um, and for the sake of this I'm just going to add just a random language and here's the thing if you type in simply EN because the layout in uh, Windows 10 is ENG for English for example uh, if you do EN it, the icon will be as big as the rest of the icons but if you add the G at the end click apply let's see if I can uh, adjust this real quick okay so as you can see the text is certainly smaller but that's how it'll look alright next up let's go back to the settings so we have the cursor we have the panel pretty much set so next up let's go to application style go to windows decorations and get new decorations so if you type in windows you should see this theme pack uh, and it will basically come with the different colors so you can get a blue red or whatever that is dark blue dark light and uh, a dark blue theme so you have you have uh, different options you don't have all the colors available 
that's fine uh, I'm just gonna go with this one so now the title bar looks better looks a lot more like Windows um, so next up is the icons uh, again click on get new theme and then type in Windows and when you scroll down you should see this theme click install okay so now you can select it and as you can see the icons have changed as well so taking a look at the file manager it certainly looks a lot more like windows uh, and to pair it up with the start menu certainly looks pretty nice another good thing about uh, Manjaro specifically Manjaro KDE is that it comes with Microsoft Office um, online so you can even use those if you want next up you're gonna want to go to colors uh, and so the one that you can base it off is Zion uh, and the reason why I chose this one is because it's fully white everywhere so it mimics the Windows 10 uh, kind of window layout and what you can also do is you can go to edit theme and where you see the purplish color you can change that uh, to just simply like a light gray color so that the highlighted options um, so that the highlighted options are now gray also uh, if you're wondering why my mouse changes it's because of I guess theming errors um, but hopefully that doesn't bug you and now for the desktop itself we can configure desktop go up here to tweaks and remove that little icon uh, and next up we can go ahead and search the Windows 10 default wallpaper I'll just choose this one even though it has this little logo at the bottom of course you don't have to use the default wallpaper but um, yeah so add image downloads let's see which one it was I think there we go okay that, that kinda looks bad um, much better so looking at things we have the cursor in check we have the wallpaper we have the icons looking pretty legit we have even the start menu which is very nice uh, apart from the search bar and we have pretty much the same icons except they're kind of upscaled um, honestly like I said if you want to make the icon smaller just simply make the taskbar smaller but um, again personal preference it's uh, whatever you like and prefer um, the icons are looking very good and the file manager actually looks pretty close I'd say um, and I think you can you can probably remove these or whatever but um, yeah so you can obviously do more with this but I think that so far this is probably the best and most legit looking copy of Windows using Linux you know uh, that's why I love KD. So next video will probably uh, be on how to copy uh, the look of a Mac using KD again. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. And thanks for watching.